All right, so we've got our clutch back, back together. What we did is we took the pressure ring, took it back to the flywheel grinder like we showed in a previous video, and we took a little bit off of that guy just to get these fingers back to the position that we want. We're looking for right about 0.4 from the flat on the cover to the round in the finger. Now, we'll let 0.39 slide, maybe even as high as 0.42, but we try to shoot in that range. So let's see what we've got here. Let's see if we got this where we want it. 398, 0.393, 0.405, 0 0.393. So that's about where we want it. That, that's good to go. And the next thing we'll do is we'll put this back on our press. We'll test it for release and uh, get this one boxed up to go out the door. Okay, the last step here is we're going to actually test our clutch, make sure it releases how we want. Uh, this is kind of an at-home setup that we did, just so you guys can see if you ever needed to test one yourself. Drill press or an arbor press or a little hydraulic press will work. Set up a dial indicator so you can watch how far the fingers travel. Now, what we've done here is we've preloaded the dial indicator because we're going to be working away from it, pushing the fingers this way. So we're going to start him at 6, and we're going to end it up at 2. That'll give us our 400 thousandths of travel. And most of your cars are going to have between 390 and 420, so that puts us in a pretty safe spot. Release this guy here. We'll come down right about there. Grab our little screwdriver. We'll go right in here to the discs themselves. And we'll just slide them around like such. And that way we know it's going to release clean when it's in the car. So one of the benefits of our product is that we can always rebuild them back to condition better than when they were new. So we can see with this one here, it got overpowered, had a lot of rust on it, and we've been able to bring it back to life, if you will, uh, back to condition that's better than new. It's going to hold even more power than it did before, and we save the customer quite a bit of money instead of having to buy a whole new unit. So if you find you want to get yours rebuilt, please contact us. We'll get you an RMA number. We'll instruct you on how to package it up. As a matter of fact, we're going to do a video on how to pack up and ship your clutch in one of our next series as well. Get it back to us safely, and we can work our magic and restore it back to new.